The Shadow Home Secretary wants to talk about safer streets, Madam Deputy Speaker. Well, let's compare our record. Since 2019, this Conservative Government has removed 90,000 knives and weapons from our streets. Since 2010, violence is down 38 per cent. Neighbourhood crime is down 48 per cent. Burglary down by 56 per cent. And overall, crime, excluding fraud, is down by 50 per cent. So what of Labour's record? What can they show? Well, where Labour leads, crime follows. Under Labour PCCs, it's true, I know it hurts, but it's true, under Labour PCCs, residents are almost twice as likely to be a victim of robbery and knife crime is over 44% higher. In London, in London, Labour's Sadiq Khan wants to legalise cannabis. In the West Midlands, the Labour PCC wants to close police stations. Labour opposed plans to expand stop and search. They voted against tougher sentences for serious criminals. They voted against our increased powers for the police in our Police, Crime, Sentencing and Courts Act. So we shouldn't be surprised, Madam Deputy Speaker. While this Conservative Government is working to get violent criminals off our streets, it's Labour who's campaigning to release them. Yeah. Yeah. The Leader of the Opposition and some 70-odd Labour MPs signed letters. That's what they love doing. They love signing letters. So many letters to stop dangerous foreign criminals being kicked out of Britain. One of them, one of them went on to kill another man in the UK. And we learned this week that many others, many others went on to commit further appalling crimes in the UK. Shameful, outrageous, hang their heads in shame. The truth about Labour, Madam Deputy Speaker, the truth is that they care more about the rights of criminals than the rights of the law-abiding majority. They're soft on crime, they're soft on the causes of crime. Conservatives are the party of law and order. Our track record shows it, and the public know it.